Alright, so I've got another really good use for the kettle clamps. Now, one of the problems with a barbell row, and this is the biggest problem basically, or one of the biggest problems, is as you're rowing up, the bar hits you in the chest or hits you in the abdomen, stopping your range of motion. Now, what the kettle clamps can do for you is, I've got these both set on a barbell, and uh, this is basically what I'm going to do is set these to a neutral grip and do barbell rows with the kettle clamps holding onto those instead of the actual bar. Now that obviously increases the range of motion by probably like six to eight inches and that really allows you to get the full contraction. Now what I'm going to demo first here is chest supported on an incline bench. Now this is a great way to really force your back to do the work. There's no lower back movement that keeps your body in the right position. Um, the only problem with that one obviously is even more so than the barbell row, the bench gets in the way. When you're using the kettle clamps attached to the bar, not an issue. You're going to be able to get an absolute full range of motion. Now one thing I want to emphasize here is that you really want to use a lightweight. I'm only using 25s on the bar here. Um, you can go even lighter, but basically you're not looking for massive weight here. You're looking for range of motion and a really tight squeeze at the top because this is what it's going to be all about for using these things on the bar. So let me give you a quick demo. I've got these claps kind of set right about where the uh, smooth rings on the other bar are. And uh, let's get that in position, get the handles, and then just do the exercise, you're ready to go. Like so. This is really going to hit your back, probably in a way it's not been hit before in a long time unless you're really focused on doing strict barbell rows. When you're holding the neutral grip and you start the row, it actually starts with shoulder blade retraction, which means that's going to hit the middle traps, the rhomboids, anything that draws those shoulder blades back. And then once those are back, then your lats are going to kick in, the teres major is going to kick in to really finish that movement and hold it at the top. And man, even just that position with no weight right now, I can really feel those muscles fired up. So this is a great variation of the barbell row to use with the clamps. And uh, I can also show you as well, you can do these with a straight up barbell row, just like that. Same idea. these kettle clamps is you can actually rotate them so I can rotate these to be parallel with the bar and do the overhand kind of grip hit the upper back a little bit more while keeping that larger range of motion which I will do on the next set as well so definitely worth giving a try get a couple of kettle clamps attached to a barbell you're good to go for some killer back training all right so I've rotated the handles 90 degrees and I'm going to do a pronated grip version of the barbell row here this is going to target more of the upper back. It's always good to make sure these are pretty even on the bar there. I can also slide these out a bit if necessary. else I've tried before, so this is definitely worth doing. 
All right, so here's the next use for the kettle clamp. And this is for doing seated cable ropes. Now, what you're gonna do is get a straight bar attachment. Um, it can be the really long bar, it can be like a medium-sized bar. I've got a bar that I made out of steel pipe, plumbing pipe, and PVC with those rotating handles, which is a really good one that I find works well. But what you're gonna do is attach the kettle clamps with the neutral grip, perpendicular grip, or you can use the overhand grip as well, but you're gonna attach them onto the ends of that uh, cable attachment. So the advantage that this has is similar to the barbell rope, where as you pull, the bar doesn't hit you in the stomach. So there's nothing restricting your range of motion. So you can get a full contraction in your back muscles, really squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. So again, this one is not one you wanna use really, really heavy weight with. You wanna use a moderate weight and really tight form. So here's what it looks like. So again, pretty simple use for the uh, kettle clamps. You just attach it onto a bar and do your pulling from there. I find that really, uh, that kind of grip on these kettle clamps really forces you to engage those middle trap and, uh, and uh, medial lat fibers as well. So it's definitely one worth giving a shot if you have the kettle clamps.